All right, we have covered three questions that can help us make better decisions. Why do I want to do this really? What story do I want to tell? Is there a tension that needs my attention? Now, the fourth question is the purpose question. Ask yourself, okay, what would be most honoring to God? Now, this is a challenging question because we tend to filter everything through the lens of what would be most honoring to me, and what's going to make me happy, and we don't really know for sure what's going to honor God. You know, it's what's going to make me happy that guides our relationship decisions, our money decisions, our family decisions, career and morality decisions. But the thing is, once you begin to consider what would be most honoring to God, it may change your decision making entirely because now you're thinking not about what's going to make you happy, but what's actually going to honor God's plan and purpose for your life. This is a bit of a dangerous question because it takes you past what I would call the minimum standard. You know, you can't just ask, well, is it right? Is it legal? Okay, well, I can do it, you know. This question pushes you to live by a higher standard. It's a question that's going to push you to become fully devoted to Jesus in everything you do. And yeah, it's scary to ask because it may lead you to make a decision you don't really want to make. But don't avoid the question because it's going to lead you out of a life that's no bigger than you and it's going to lead you into a life of purpose and meaning and significance. This is the question that draws you away from self-reliance, and into a fully trusting relationship with your Heavenly Father. And it's the kind of question that will help you live a life of legacy. The truth is, we are all living for somebody's glory. Now, you may have never thought of it this way, but everybody does. And the, the truth is, your glory, it's way too small a glory to live for, isn't it? I mean, living for your glory, you know this, it, it ends up leading to a small life. You weren't created to live for you. You were created to live for a bigger purpose than yourself, the purpose God has for you. And that leads us to the fifth question I want to give you, which can help clarify all of this. When you're making a decision, you should always ask yourself, what does love require of me? Not just any kind of love, but the kind of love that Jesus has shown you. If you choose to love like that, what would it require you to do with this decision? Well, the short answer is it's going to require you to put others before yourself, to give before you get, to, you know, to serve before being served. So if the decision you're making would hurt somebody else, if you'd make you a part of their regret story, if it's driven by selfishness and pride, well, maybe you shouldn't make that decision. Maybe you should let love guide you and do what love requires of you. So what I want to do is review now, okay? When you're facing a decision you don't know what to do, ask yourself, why do I want to do this really? What story do I want to tell? Is there a tension that needs my attention? What would be most honoring to God? And then what does love require of me? Now, if you want to dive further into great decision-making principles, you can check out our series on our YouTube channel. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Predicting Your Future. Every decision you make, it moves you in a direction towards a destination. So it's worth paying attention. Make decisions that move you toward where you want most, where you want most to be, what you want most to have, what you want most to do, not just what you want now.